President Obama needs all the help he can get to sell young people on the new health care law. Listen to this. If you've got a radio show, spread the word on air. If you're a bartender, have a happy hour. <laughs> and also probably get health insurance because a lot of bartenders don't have it. So he's even asking bartenders now to help pitch Obamacare with happy hours? Well, guess what? We went out to quiz a few bartenders about whether they do such a happy hour. Absolutely. They think it would be a great thing to do, promote awareness of the cause. And uh, as you all probably know, a lot of bartenders, a lot of people in this business don't have health insurance, so we'd be helping each other out. It's not really trendy. Bars are loud, aren't they? Anyway, uh, so who does go to happy hour and talk about health insurance? Joining me now, radio talk show host Mark Larson and Democratic strategist Bernard Whitman, a former Bill Clinton pollster. Welcome to you both, gentlemen. Thank you. And by the way, you're a radio talk show host, so he was saying that you should be yeah, talking about it yeah. on your Let show. Let me get back to him on that with all due respect. <laughs> well, I have a feeling you're talking about We're it, talking about but it, maybe right? not in the way that he no. would like. What do you make of the bartender plea and doing it over happy hour? Uh, two thoughts, Gretchen. Number one, we've come a long way from JFK asking what your country can do for you to go out and get drinks. There's a bigger question. People are going to want drink subsidies next. And besides, I think the whole country has been <laughs> feeling like drinking about the last five years, but that's a separate part of the story. <laughs> Bernard, Not well, I actually think, you know, yeah. the ACA does cover red wine because it is shown to improve your health. No, but in all seriousness, I think, it was an, I think it was an amusing, I think it was an amusing idea for the president, but I think there is some reality here. And what is that? People do sit around and talk about issues and problems and challenges they have in their life at, around the dinner table, around the kitchen table, uh, and at bars. And I think that a lot of people are scared. They don't have health insurance. Young people use bars to gather around and I think the fact is these conversations about what to do about health care yeah. actually do take but place come in on. these venues come so on. reaching I out to the community you, makes a lot of sense. I, I agree with that last point but I guarantee you when they were coming up with this whole health care law the last thing from their minds was hey maybe we'll pitch bartenders down the road yeah. because it sounds like a pretty desperate plea does it, it not? Desperate is the word that comes to mind Gretchen and when you look at this and see where the grasping is going here I, I'm encouraged because I think every generation assumes that the next whippersnappers coming up are going to somehow how not get it. Uh, I've been wondering about the younger generation in this particular demographic we're talking about and if they are going to wake up or if they've been in the hot tub with the one for a little too long here oh uh, since goodness. 2008. I'm saying politically speaking. Speaking of drinks. Yeah, so, so but now uh, <laughs> the scales are falling from the eyes. They're starting to be able to see what's what's really happening here uh -huh. and it's, it's a reality Well, check. the polls recently have agreed with you on that point, yeah. Mark. All right, in the meantime, Democrats put together a strike team now to help sell the public on Obamacare. So, Bernard, this strike team is made up, I won't bore people with the laundry list of all the politicians, but they're supposed to go out and strike the public and let them know all the positive stories about Obamacare. Will it work? Well, uh, the answer is the strike team should have been formed four and a half years ago. I think the biggest problem with this health care law is the fact that it has not been adequately explained to the American people. Poll after poll show that people like the benefits of the law. They like the fact that businesses are going to get tax credits to buy insurance, that people are going to get subsidies to buy insurance, that people get free preventive care. Wait, wait. It wasn't the word, explained well enough. No, You're still using that talking point? But it's true because no, no, no. people are people unaware are of the People are actually feeling the effects the right now. Benefits, the very benefits that are most popular are the least well-known, according to Kaiser. And all we've heard about is the botched rollout of the system and the cancellation notices. We've got to turn the tide. And frankly, it's about time that the Democrats are so striking is that, back. Mark, is that what's really happening is that people are finally going to figure out what's in it, unlike I mean, Nancy Pelosi? It's all about the messaging. We've had all these years, the, the insurance companies, and I'm not going to defend insurance companies, they plan, they get things going. Turn the whole thing over to Amazon. Maybe they can run the website. The website's <laughs> not the problem. I'm sure they do a better job. But this idea that somehow you need to get more messaging, let's face it, the Obamas are very telegenic, good for them, lovely family. They've been on every channel. They don't stop by here a lot. Mm. But, you know, this idea that there has to be three more weeks, I want my Christmas season back. Don't need to hear the message again. The message was basically dis ingenuous, which is keep your doctor, you know, keep your insurance company, all these things we now mm -hmm. know is hooey. So. Well, I'm going to leave it there, but I do appreciate Merry both Christmas. of you having a very good sense of humor today. Mark, <laughs> Bernard, yeah, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, great Thank to you. see both.